Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday of the third week of Lent, March 24th, 2022. I am Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, amen. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. Our first psalm is Psalm 87, entitled, Jerusalem is mother of us all. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples, he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they will sing, and you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, your only Son wept over ancient Jerusalem, soon to be destroyed for its lack of faith. He established the new Jerusalem firmly upon rock and made it the mother of the faithful. Make us rejoice in your church and grant that all people may be reborn into the freedom of your spirit. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah entitled, the Good Shepherd, God Most High and Most Wise. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed? the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment, or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the price of victory. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. Our second psalm is Psalm 99, entitled, Holy is the Lord our God. The Lord is king, the peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. Then they did his will, they kept the law, which he the Lord had given. O Lord our God, you have answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, you are the source of all holiness. Though no one can see you and live, 
you give life most generously, and in an even greater way restore it. Sanctify your priests through your life-giving word, and consecrate your people in his blood until our eyes see your face. Give praise to the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain. Our reading this morning is taken from the first book of Kings. We are your people and your inheritance. Thus, may your eyes be opened to the petition of your servant and to the petition of your people, Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart from all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed among us today is St. Oscar Romero, Archbishop and Martyr, who was born in 1917 and died in 1980. In 2015, the Vatican decreed that Archbishop Oscar Romero of San Salvador had died as a martyr in hatred of the faith, opening the way for his beatification and ultimately his canonization in 2018. For an archbishop slain at the altar while saying Mass, this decree might have seemed unremarkable. But for many years, Romero's cause was blocked by powerful prelates who claimed he had not died for his faith, but for mixing himself up in politics. This charge was answered by the postular of Romero's cause, who said his assassination was not caused by motives that were simply political, but by hatred for a faith that imbued with charity would not be silent in the face of the injustices that relentlessly and cruelly slaughtered the poor and their defenders. Romero's canonization did not simply enlarge the church's understanding of martyrdom. He offered a powerful example of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ in a world marked by violence and injustice. While many saints have exemplified a model of holiness in the form of escape from a sinful world, Romero's holiness was expressed in solidarity with a wounded world. Many saints practiced charity, but Romero combined charity with a passion for justice. He answered the call for holy witnesses who are faithful to the end, who challenge both the church and the world, and who are willing to speak the truth and pay up personally. This is a quote from St. Oscar Romero. One who is committed to the poor must risk the same fate as the poor. And in El Salvador, we know what the fate of the poor signifies, to disappear, to be tortured, to be captive, and to be found dead. Our responsory, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Our Canticle of Zechariah. It is by the power of God that I cast out devils, says the Lord. Then the kingdom of God has come to you already. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It is by the power of God that I cast out devils, says the Lord, then the kingdom of God has come to you already. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. God of the nations, you are just in every way. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Attune our hearts to your word. 
Teach us prudence and give us enduring peace. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Assist efforts to improve the lives of poor people and to conquer hunger, disease, and illiteracy. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Advance global efforts to end child labor. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. For all those caught up in violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, that in this time of fear and conflict, they may know God's presence and peace. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or who may have passed away. In hope we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, help us to be ready to celebrate the great Paschal mystery. Make our love grow each day as we approach the feast of our salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God fashion our hearts and spirits anew so that we may love as Christ loved and practice what he taught by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.